Technology and innovation is the hallmark of any country that is on the path to the top. President Traore understands, and that is why as he is battling the insecurity in the country, he is also focused on building and encouraging technological innovations in the country. In this context, it would interest you to know that Burkina Faso is about to reach for the stars, not figuratively, but literally. The country's scientists are set to launch the Burkina SAT-1 project, Burkina Faso's first ever satellite initiative. This Earth Observation Nano Satellite is set to transform the lives of the nation's citizens by offering new opportunities for technological advancement and connectivity. This is not just mind-blowing, but it signifies an important step in the country's journey to technological advancement that will aid in addressing critical issues including agriculture, water management, and climate resilience. So, when did Burkina Faso start this project and why? What would Burkina Faso gain from this project? Let's find out. The Burkina SAT-1 project reflects Traore's commitment to sustainable development and scientific progress. Think about it. This is actually the first ever satellite to be launched by Burkina Faso. However, even though Traore is dealing with a lot as president of the country from security to economic development, he hasn't pushed technological innovations to the side. We can now see again why those U.S. military commanders called him a sophisticated leader. Now, according to the reports, the first Burkinabe satellite, the Burkina SAT-1, will be launched into space by the end of this year if there are no obstacles. Tests have already been successfully completed. Initially, Burkina Faso signed a contract with China for the launch and deployment of the Burkina SAT-1 into outer space, and based on the contract it was slated for the 3rd of May this year. However, due to some technological reasons, the launch and deployment was delayed. Hopefully, everything works out well, so it's ready to be deployed by the end of this year. In a recent press conference, the chief Burkinabe scientist Frederick Uatara, who is the instigator of the project, gave some assurances regarding the project. He said, we must now hope that the weather conditions are favorable to complete the project. But how important is the Burkina SAT-1 for Burkina Faso? Well, you see, Burkina Faso is a diverse and vibrant landlocked country in West Africa, with borders with six nations. It's rich in culture and abundant resources, including gold, just like other African countries. However, despite its resources, the court has been facing some economic challenges that are made more prominent with the insecurity issues. As part of the Sahel region, a semi-arid zone between the Sahara Desert in the north and fertile regions in the south, Burkina Faso sometimes grapples with food insecurity, access to clean waters, and the impact of climate change. Given this background, it's important to note that technological advancement is crucial for driving development and improving the quality of life for its citizens. This is where the Burkina SAT-1 comes in. The Burkina SAT-1 project represents a strategic move towards leveraging space technology to overcome these critical challenges and propel the country into a more prosperous future. The project originated from the visionary efforts of Burkinabe scientists and the support of international partners with the primary goal of enhancing agricultural productivity, improving water resources management, and bolstering climate resilience through advanced satellite data. Burkina SAT-1 is a small yet sophisticated satellite equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and imaging technology which enables it to monitor crop health, track water bodies, and provide critical data for disaster management. One of the most important parts of the project is the ground station at Norbert Zongo University. This station serves as a control and processing hub for the satellite, ensuring efficient utilization of data collected. According to the Burkinabe local media reports, President Rauch, Mark Christian Kabore, announced the launch of the construction phase of the satellite. Following a media unveiling of the ground station recently built as phase one milestone of the satellite construction project. The satellite project is led by Professor Frederic Watara, who won the Africa Award for Research Excellence in Space Science from the American Geophysical Union in 2018. Professor Uatara is the president of Norbert Zongo University in Kudugu, where the newly built ground station is located. 
The satellite will be built locally at the Norbert Zongo University with resources and talent sourced in-country and from the diaspora. President Kobore confirmed that his government is providing 110 million CFA francs, that is approximately $200,000 in funding for the procurement of components for the satellite project. Interestingly, the Burkina SAT-1 project has been made possible through the invaluable support and collaboration of international partners, including the University of Montpellier and the National Center for Space Studies, the Kyushu Institute of Technology, Japan, as well as the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs. All these partners have contributed their expertise and financial resources to help Burkina Faso realize its ambition. It's important to note that this project began in 2018 under the leadership of former President Roach, but Captain Traore has not neglected the project, and finally it's almost ready to be launched. The realization of the Burkina SAT-1 has been executed in three phases. The launch of the construction phase followed the succeeding completion of the first phase of the project, which wastes construction of the ground station. The third phase is where the project is currently at, and that is the launch and operationalization of the satellite for nominal life in orbit. The project actually started some years back when Professor Watara presented the proposal to the government and secured the government's commitment to fund the project in January 2019. According to reports, Professor Uatara is quoted to have said, We are supported by researchers from our Energy and Meteorological Research Laboratory in the Laramie space. We have in our team Buryunabe from the diaspora with skills in engineering and the field of space. Commenting on the satellite project, Burkina Faso's minister in charge of scientific research, Professor Alkasum Maiga, said, Burkina is proud of what has been done. If there is one project that needs to be moved forward, it is this one. It is of strategic interest, if only for our food security, to prevent disasters and certain diseases. We bet on the right horse. The first stage of the project, which was construction of the ground station, was launched in August 2020. And since then, intense work has continued with President Traore giving his full support. Under Dr. Uatara's guidance, the Burkinabe SAT-1 project has been driven from its inception to its launch. So, what exactly are the benefits of this project? Based on reports from the design team, the Burkina SAT-1 project will be responsible for rainfall forecasting, building capacity for resilience to climate change, and detecting available water resources. It will also enable agro-pastoralists who are transhuman to locate biomass and water wells. This scientific observation satellite, for civilian use, will also eventually make it possible to measure plant cover, detect underground water resources, help combat the advance of the desert, and prevent diseases such as meningitis and other respiratory ailments. Specifically for agriculture, the data from SAT-1 will help farmers optimize crop yields, detect pests early, and manage soil health more effectively. With precise data on weather patterns and soil conditions, Farmers can make informed decisions leading to increased productivity and reduction in crop losses. For water resources management, Burkina Faso SAT-1 will monitor reservoirs and water bodies, which will help to efficiently distribute and conserve water. It will also help to map and monitor water resources, ensuring the efficient use and distribution. The satellite will also play a crucial role in addressing water scarcity. In the area of healthcare, Data on environmental conditions can help predict and manage health risks, such as disease outbreaks. Access to these information can save lives and improve the overall public health outcomes. On the economic front, the satellite will help to support infrastructure development, disaster management, and urban planning by fostering a more resilient and informed society. The Burkina SAT-1 is more than just a technological innovation and achievement. It's a source of inspiration for young Burkinabe scientists and engineers. It showcases the potential of homegrown talents and encourages the pursuit of critical education. The interesting thing is that Burkina Faso is not the only one taking this initiative. In January 2022, South Africa made history by launching three nanosatellites that were the first to be wholly designed and produced on the African continent. Cocoa farmers in Ghana, 
will soon be able to receive agricultural advice thanks to the SAT4 Farming Initiative, a program that leverages satellite imagery to monitor environmental conditions in the country. Angola's second telecommunication satellite, Angosat-2, launched in 2022 as well. African countries are beginning to see the importance of technology and innovation in the push for economic development. This is fantastic news and worthy to be applauded. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.